Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour, it is week three and I navigated my way out of Colmar, beautiful Colmar, where I spent a couple of days, uh, first with my dad and afterwards uh, he left, he went back home and I stayed a couple more days just uh, for some editing and administrational stuff. Um, and I'm currently cycling uh, outside the city already, as you can see, I'm somewhere in uh, quite green and foresty area. I'm not sure exactly where I am, um, but I'm navigating towards Basel today, Switzerland. So I'm gonna do another border crossing. Um, I'm gonna stay the night at Matt, Matthew. Uh, he's a warm showers host. For now, uh, moving on, onto the next week and uh, into the world with more adventures. So, quick stop in the middle of the fields. Um, the road hasn't been that interesting all that much. Uh, just a boring gravel road straight ahead alongside a river. But what is interesting is what I'm standing in front of right now. Because can you look at this? I've never seen so much corn in my life. <laughs> it's an entire wall, hundreds of meters long with corn. very quick update I've been uh, cycling through this forest for the past two hours um, very nice it's been going on for 30 kilometers very peaceful very quiet out, he out here but it hasn't been that interesting to show you the content isn't that great uh, it's just a straight road through the forest um, I have seen maybe one or two other cyclists and that's about it um, and now I have to hurry because I have to go to the Swiss, Swiss border. I have to move on because uh, there might be passport control at the border as well and uh, maybe even a luggage check, so I have to keep moving. So quick travel update. Um, yesterday I, uh, I crossed the border quite easily in, into Switzerland. Uh, there were no passport control, there was no uh, luggage uh, check, absolutely nothing at all. There was not even there was no one at all, so uh, yeah, I made it into Basel and I stayed the night with Matthew. He uh, gave me a place to sleep, he gave me dinner, breakfast, so uh, very comfortable, everything I needed. And he also uh, helped me with planning my route a little bit into Switzerland, um, because my original plan was to go to the Lake of Geneva and then uh, the main Wallis uh, Valley. But unfortunately the passes over there are closed, the mountain passes, so um, yeah, there's no way of getting through. Uh, I have to take another route. So eventually I decided to go to Zurich today and then from there continue my way to St. Moritz. I have to take two mountain passes, which is going to be a huge challenge, but eventually I should be able to get to Italy. Italy. Let's see how it's all going to work out. There we 
we go. First mountain climb. Well, it's a steep hill, big, big hill, but nothing compared yet to the, to the Alps. Woo, let's go. So I almost arrived in Zurich, but unfortunately, luck isn't on my side because um, look at this. Great. morning and welcome to day 19 I believe it is I'm not entirely sure otherwise uh, I'll correct myself somewhere here um, anyway yesterday I spent the night with Luca and his girlfriend in his apartment in uh, the center of Zurich um, and this morning I went out to uh, to get some stuff because uh, well two days ago I sat down with Matthew um, and he showed me that it was uh, getting more or less minus 10 degrees Celsius that is um, if not more in the mountain passes I have to cross in two days I believe so I got myself um, some new snow boots because honestly my biking shoes were sort of uh, ACs on the road there was just too much air coming in um, and the same goes for uh, new mittens um, I got myself new liners and also some proper mittens um, but back to today, um, I just left uh, Zurich um, and uh, look at where I am right now. Wow, it's gorgeous out here. major setback. I had to go through the psychopath here alongside the lake but uh, look it's blocked. They're doing some road works there so I can't pass and uh, I have to take a detour, a huge detour. I was already late, I was already probably had to cycle in the dark for more than an hour it's gonna be more than two hours now, I'm afraid. Well, I think there's no other option, so. Double safety precautions, because uh, 
it is getting dark and it is slippery out here so uh, I have to make myself visible I'm not gonna film that much anymore uh, I just have to get my ass moved uh, as much as possible and prepare myself for a long dark cold ride um, and it's daylight again it's magic no, I actually uh, I haven't filmed anything anymore yesterday after uh, after the sunset because it was completely dark. I had to take a huge detour, um, which was not pleasant at all, through the mountains. Uh, it sent me back two hours and I was already late two hours, so yeah, um, that was pretty horrible. I ended up uh, cycling uh, four hours in the cold, uh, cold darkness, but uh, eventually I made it. Um, I made it up to uh, to Esther's place, uh, my warm showers host, and uh, she had a lovely cheese fondue ready, which is the best thing ever. I love cheese, uh, so that was amazing. We had some wine, we had good chats. Um, yeah, it was incredible. Uh, I just enjoyed the night afterwards. I was completely broken. Uh, it was a very long day, but now it's a new day, and um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm cycling towards Liechtenstein actually, um, since it's literally around the corner here. Half an hour bike ride and half an hour back though, but still. My navigation already made me do some uh, weird uh, weird routes underneath uh, the bridges, but um, all good. I'm just gonna continue my way to Liechtenstein and then I'll see uh, what the day's gonna offer. Beautiful building, museum. Mountain castle, church, very clear water, and mountains. That's about it really, let's go. The route is not only going through a flat, flat country, flat valley. Jesus, I don't know if you can sense how steep this is and how snowy it is. That's impossible. I already had to stop biking three or four times, and I'm, I think, halfway. Oh, I should have taken another way. But I can't go back anymore. Oh, for sure. The sun is almost setting, so I'll be backing in the darkness again. I just hope I'm gonna be back in the road before. But eventually I reached Tusis, where I would stay with Lauren and his family. The house was situated at the foot of the first mountain climb. But how that ended is something for later. That's it for this week and I'll see you in the next one.